Well, this is annoying. It's 10 past six. Someone took me parking spot and there's already like two big rows ready to go. So let's get cracking. Let's find some bargains. Have you got any more games of Tories, is that it? Uh, no, have you got any more? Oh, you've got some Ah, more. still going. Oh, why me? Oh, blimey, I haven't seen that one. That's it. That's it. Okay. How much are they each? Pound each. Pound each. One, two. Three, four. The last five you pulled out. There you go, Lee. You went yourself for five, on mate. Thank you. Lovely, thank you. Morning. Morning. Are you all right? Yeah, sound you. I wonder how much he's charging for those fake That's toys. Articulation was absolutely shot. What's this box of shit here? Oh, it's a box of Lego. It's a box of not Lego. Mixed with Lego. How annoying is that? Morning. Morning. How much are these plushes? Depends which ones. How much would that be? Three pounds. Okay, have a little dig through. How much are your toys? Um, they vary depending which one. Okay, I should bring it up to the table rather yeah. than bend over if that's all right. There's a broken plate in here, so just be careful. Oh, it's right at the bottom as well, unfortunately. One. Yeah, it's like it's copper and blue. Hang on, I'll get that one. Oh, is that gone now? Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> Wonder what that noise was. <laughs> that explains that. Like that as well. Okay. Bird. 
Boots. There's a dealer. I didn't recognise the car and I know she's expensive. Uh, ten. Do you want Three quid. Thank you very much. Bargains. How much are your Paw Patrol toys, please? Okay. No worries, thank you. How much are the games? I've not seen that before. Pound. Cheers, Thank man. you very much. Right then, what did I buy? First of all, we've got this box of Pokemon cards. I paid 50 pence each for the cards. So we've got Raichu V, Frosmoth, Radiant Tesserina, Amphros V, Mewtwo V and an Inteleon V. So these two will be kept and then these four will be sold on. Lovely jubbly. Then we also have a little box of mainly TY figures. Uh, I think there is a rare run in here. I think that's worth about 20. Didn't find that one. I think that's worth about 20 as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Then a load of little rubbers, um, which I don't know what I'm going to do with. I mean, I think my daughter would really like them, but they are a massive choking hazard when we have a two-month-old in the house. So I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Okay, next up we've got some video games. So I paid a pound for Blades, sorry, X-Blades on the Xbox. And I should be able to get... Why is that so laggy? Oh my God. I don't know why this is so bad. Should try that again. Okay, nothing on that. So we'll search for... X-Blades, Xbox 360. Okay. It's a different artwork everywhere. That's annoying. I would presume it's because it's German. Let's have a little look, see what we can see. 10.99, 13 pounds. There we go, I'll screenshot that so I don't lose it. Lovely jubbly. Then we've got freaky flyers on the original Xbox which is not coming up with anything. It's got a broken case as well. That was really clever, James. Original Xbox Freaky Flyers. Eh. That can't be right. There we go, that's more like it, a tenner. Definitely just kick that car. Sorry, mate. Is this gonna be not in anything as well? Oh no, there we go. 19 pound, beautiful. Project Zero, 20. 50, 25, 22, beautiful. We don't see many steelbooks nowadays. A whopping six pounds. Worst one so far. And then we have, I hope this is all in bloody shot, otherwise I've just completely ruined all this. 15 quid, I think. Yeah, 15 pound all in. 12 pound, nine pound. Oddworld, Stranger's Wrath. It will do, 
I don't know why, but this GoPro keeps on cutting out and it's doing my head in. Paid a fiver. So thank you to Coda Flipper to pointing these out. And said, oh, what size are your daughter's feet? And he reckons, the guy who's selling these, reckons they're about a 10, 10 and a half. And my daughter's a 10 and a half. So we'll give them a go. Paid a fiver. Either way, I can sell them on and break even. It's not a problem. Best case scenario is I get to rent them for a few months. Next up, I bought some Beast Wars Transformer spares and repairs because I never find these out in the wild. Never. So here we go. Paid three pound for spares and repairs of Rillaboom. I've got like, I can pop these off. I've got spare legs, arms, whatever it may be. Nice and easy. Then, oh, this is part of the Magnaboss. Uh, it's missing a leg, a head, projectiles and things like that. Actually, how much was he? I think that was £2.50, you know. Let's just check. It looks like there might be a projectile in there. No, no, there's not. Air Razor, I think. No, this is Air Razor. Spares and repairs, but again, we've got ball joints that I can pop off and transfer. It's missing a tail. This is a Fusor. It's a Piranha, uh, Piranha Wasp thing. I forget what it's called, but again, spares and repairs. Again, part of the Magnaboss, uh, we've got ball joints, uh, missing tusks, uh, ears, head, but it's actually the weapons that I need in order to, com to complete another one. But I'll take it because I never find these sorts of things. And £2.50 for another one. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. That's really annoying. He looks cool though. Like a samurai-esque face going on. So yeah, that's cool. That was... £2.50. Bought some Pokemon plushes for a tenner. So we've got Pikachu, which does that. Uh, now that is Tomy. So his value is safe. Oh, hang on. Found another Transformer. Uh, part of the crab dude thing. But there we go. That was £2.50. Again, ball joints that are popping off and things like that. It's just handy to have. We got a Jigglypuff. Uh, unfortunately, someone's written on his on his back. Uh, this is by a company I've not heard of before, off the top of my head. Wicked Cool Toys. I thought these might have been like cheap, uh, cheap, what's the word? Like crane grabby stuff. But I think they're proper. So it'll be washed. Hopefully I can clean his mouth up because he doesn't look too healthy, does he? We've also got a Growlithe, a Munchlax and and Meowth, all by the same company. And now, the aim of the game is to get home way before my daughter does, as she's currently at my parents' house. I'm fairly certain it's only 8.38, and I don't think she's due home until about 11 o'clock. So it should give me more than enough time to get home, list what she might be interested in, skew it away, and then hopefully there'll be no tantrums later. But that's it for me. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and all that lovely stuff. And I will see you guys soon. Au revoir. How's this for a nice little bruisey bonus? Ended up going to my local car boot, which I don't go to every single weekend. For eight pounds, we got a Buzz, a Hatless Woody, and an Nintendo DS. It's untested, it's got no stylus, it's got no charger. It was worth it, hopefully. Pound each for some Titans. So we've got Scarlet Spider, Spider-Man, Iron Man. Paid three pounds for this bundle of Pokemon. I think it's mainly knockoff gear. Um, yeah, that Rolts is looking dodgy. That Venusaur is looking dodgy. But I know that some people got good money for these. That is a Burger King Nido Queen. That Lapras is dodgy. Um, yeah, that Cubone looks to be all right from here. It probably isn't when I get it out though. And then this little bundle was 50p. I think they're all like micro machines. I looked at a couple and they're like late 80s, early 90s. So absolute bargain. But I'm just including this, otherwise I'll forget to pay myself back.